Hello, I just wanted to thank you for clicking on my video and I wanted to let you know not only do I create content on my YouTube channel here, Class in the Glass, but I'm also on Twitch where I play single player games, multiplayer games, I do movie reviews, cartoon reviews, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Also, it would be a big help if you can check out my Patreon where you can gain access to uh, audio commentaries, reactions, and the ability to submit questions for my podcasts and video casts. And all that content can be found in the links below. In the meantime, enjoy the video. Video. I will find my way there. I only begun to fight. Samurai. But now, Chad, I must review Samurai Jack episode. Now, as we le left off, Chad, we were introduced the character of Jack. Well, actually, he has no name at this point. He's not even called Jack. He is just the samurai of a feudal lord of Japan, Chad. This entity, this demonic spirit, uh, creature, monster, we want to call him, Chad. Aku! came back and laid waste to Jack's homeland. And as a captured his father and dominated his people, uh, his, his mother, uh, Jack's mother, took him into exile and uh, had him train around the world in all sorts of combat, everything from combat to survival, chat, from horseback riding to spear throwing to archery to sword fighting, anything you could possibly imagine. Jack spent the last 20 years training for his climactic battle against Aku. And he returned, Chad, and he was gifted the magic sword, the only weapon on the planet that could actually harm Aku. And he got this sword. He freed his his father and the people of, of, his, uh, of his once great city, Chad, and he challenged Aku. And he nearly defeated him, nearly defeated him in single combat, Chad. Even with all of Aku's shenanigans, he could not best Jack Chat, so he had to fucking throw something else in there. He said, I can't defeat you in the past, but I can defeat you in the future. He's like, what the hell are you talking about? And Aku goes, ah! He fucking, he fucking vomits sonic booms, like sonic rings, chat. And they encircle Jack, and it sends him to the future. And so now here we are, chat. We are with Jack as he is traveling through time, thousands upon thousands of years in time. And when we're first introduced to Jack in this episode, he's going, ah! he's screaming, he's screaming, he's fucking bec becoming a contorted chat. It's kind of reminiscent of the scene from Doctor Strange, where Doctor Strange is uh, in the first episode, he's like falling through time and space and different dimensions. He's like, what the fuck? And all that shit. It's kind of like Jack. It's the animated version of that. And so he, but he's eventually, Jack, he exits the portal and he falls upon a moving flying vehicle chat it's like a blade runner x city it's like an animated blade runner and he comes to he's like where the fuck am i and everything's moving by so fast he doesn't know what the hell he's doing and he's, he's like oh he rolls off the side gets hit by another fucking flying car and eventually he's like shit he regains his footing chat he lands on this car and he looks around he's like what the hell is this but then chat he notices a car behind him, another flying or whatever a flying beast he can only suspect is as uh centered its laser sights on him and this fucking thing is apparently shoot first and shoot again and shoot one more time and then i guess ask questions later because it immediately begins firing upon jack and whoever is driving this car and it starts firing chat and, and the police thing blows that up but before it blows up jack he jumps onto the police vehicle Going, he's like, fuck this. And he cuts, uh, he, he uses his sword chat to chop the engine in half. He jumps uh, behind him and he cuts the trunk in half. And he, he uh, uh, drops down uh, from all these cars into this tunnel as the car behind him explodes and all this massive uh, fires around him. Chase is looking like a badass. Like, that was a, that's a great fucking open. That's how you open an episode, chat. But it's not over yet because Jack sees in the distance something that's coming very quickly. It's this giant garbage truck that's grinding up all this garbage. So he's like in this, it's like a sewer pit, chat. It's like this elongated sewer pit that the city just, they just push all their trash off the street and these giant mashers just come and like kind of uh, push it away. And Jack's like, what the fuck? And he jumps on this thing gets on the tire treads and lifts him up until he, he's finally up on the street level. He goes, and he's just looking around. He's like, what the hell is this place? All these cars are flying around. He hears all this, these loud sounds and music, all these strange smells. And he turns around and he sees these three teenagers and they go, hey, Jack, that was cool, man. Woo! The way you jumped on that car and then that car and cut that one guy in half. Jack, my man, my man Jack right here, he can do some crazy shit. He's like, what? <laughs> He's like looking at them like, well, I don't, I don't understand <laughs> what, what you're saying. And they're just uh, they're heaping praise on him using their own modified slang chat. Slang that we, that we had, you know, slang that we obviously have, but some other stuff. But they constantly refer to him as Jack. And he's like, 
eventually they're just done com complimenting him or he doesn't even know what they're saying. He goes, uh, thanks. Do you guys know where I am? And they're like, ah, oh, Jack, you're in fucking section D, the smelliest, the stankiest, the worst part of the Megapolis, baby. And Jack goes, ah, uh, I'm sorry. Can I speak to your king? They go, <laughs> king jack my man you can't speak to that king and it's like well who who is your king oh jack our king our leader the emperor of the world in the galaxy that would be our coup jack goes the fuck and then he, he point they point the screen chat it's our coup and it's a coup he's eating a sandwich he's eating a sandwich chat a trash but very frank miller Ronan. and after this this series feels very inspired by yep yeah, very uh frank miller's ronin uh, a couple of other works. Obviously, Blade Runner chap. No question about it. The work of Akira Kurosawa. Doubt me, God. They 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 borrow, rip off Akira Kurosawa like crazy in this series. Which is fine. Which is fine. That's what, That was the intention. Fucking Jenny Tarkovsky admits this. Like, I ripped him off. Absolutely. Because his stuff is so goddamn good. I am putting in animated form for a new generation, chap. This is, this is, this is a great gateway to that. Honestly, Samurai Jack is, in much the way, same way that Avatar The Last Airbender is, great gateway into uh, not only like, kind of Japanese-inspired culture, but also uh, anime, I think. He definitely has that, no doubt about it. Uncle Iroh, chat Mako. That's right, Mako. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Does that? He, he's a fantastic voice actor, chat both for Uncle Iroh and Aku Samurai. Uh, and they're like, he's like Aku. How, how is this? Why, why is he in charge? He's like, that's the way it's always been, man. Aku has always been in charge, baby. He's been charged of the planet. He's been charged of the galaxy. And fucking Jack just begins to have a, a panic attack, Jack, because he gets really his eyes going. He just starts breathing. He starts sweating. And he's like, uh, are you okay, Jack? He's like, uh, uh, hey, man, you need, like, a drink or something? He's like, I would like refreshment. He's like, yeah, you can get refreshed right there, man. That's that bar, good bar. He's like, okay. <laughs> he walks up there. He knocks on a chat. And all these, like, little slots come down. And these eyes are like, what do you want? And he's like, I was told this establishment had refreshments. Can I, can I come in? And he's like, okay. And he opened up the door, chat. He steps on in. And he looks around, he's like, oh my fucking God. It's not filled with people, Chet. It's, of course, Jack, it's just filled with fucking monsters. You have giant iguana people. You have, you have, uh, 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 two, you have three-headed, two-headed aliens walk in here, Chet. You see little goblin escort. Anything you could possibly imagine, Chet, is in this bar. And Jack's just like, I, I don't know what's happening. He's just walking around just fucking dumbfounded until he gets to this one table where he sees, like, this red alien, this little blue, uh, midget alien, Chet, and this giant iguana alien. He's just staring at this thing. He's just like, and the guy's like, what are you looking at? What, what's wrong? And Jack's like, not even, uh, uh. He's like, hey, stop looking at me. What are you looking at me for? Jack's like, ah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know you, you could talk. He's like, excuse me. He gets up and he's like, Jack's like, ah, you know what? You know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. And he fucking gets on his knees. I apologize. I just, you know, I'm, out, if I'm out of town. I'm from out of town. He's like, that's not fucking good enough. That's not. Good. He's like, sir, sir, I ask for your forgiveness. I'm so sorry. I, I, I was in the wrong. He's like, that's not good enough jack and he takes off this giant thrusting sword it's like literally thrusting in the air chat this thrusting sword very sexual very perverse and he's about to fucking slice jack in half with it but jack's like i said i was sorry and he comes out of his sword chat and cuts this thing's fucking arm off now chat again this this iguana monster this lizard monster clearly is like oh it's flesh and blood but they couldn't have Jack cutting off actual limbs in this. Everything had to be robots. It's that one really. In the fifth season, he's fucking killing people left and right. Blood, guts spilling out, all that shit. Which is great. I love the first half is special. First half of season five is very, very good. Second half is kind of good in the ending. I'm not a big fan of the season, the series finale of Jack. But we'll get to that uh, eventually. <laughs> um, but he cuts this guy's thing, this thing's hand off. It's like all robotic. He's like, oh, ah. It's like, he's, he is screaming though. He's like clearly in pain. And then all the other lizard people are like, what the fuck? He cut our friend's hand off. Hey, fucking Jack, fuck you. And they go up there, chat. And he starts fighting, cutting off all their hands off and shit. Meanwhile, we cut to a private booth where we have three talking dogs talking to a mercenary. And they're like, so after our, uh, our conversation and what we're offering you, can you help us? And this guy goes, looks at him, goes, nah. And he gets up, Chad, and leaves. 
And the one Scottish dog's like, I told you he, I, I fucking told you. I can't do I can't do a Scottish accent, chat. But he basically says, I told you he wouldn't take. He's like, we just need to find another patron. He's like, we talked to every single mercenary, pirate, warlord in this bar. Okay, no one's going to help us. And fucking the, the one wiener dog, she's like, what about that one over there? And he's like, we haven't talked to that guy, but he's about to be a fucking uh, a dark stay on the floor in a second. And the wiener dog's like, I expect not, sir. I expect not. And Jack, he defeats everybody. And eventually the little wiener dog, he, uh, he walks over to Jack. And he's like, Good day, sir. I see you have defeated these enemies right here. Would you care to join us for a refreshment? And Jack looks down and, look and says, Talking dog. Talking dog. <laughs> and he goes, Yes, yes, I, 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 I am fluent in, in English. He's like, Talking dog. <laughs> I love his panic. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do Scottish. I can't do Scottish yet. Um, uh, I can do uh, a Sean Connery. No, I can't do it. Can't do it, chap. I can do a Cockney accent. I can do a posh English accent, but I cannot do a Scottish accent. My mistake. I can do an Irish accent. I can do an Irish. Can I go down to the bar, get a beer, have a whiskey? I can do kind of an Irish accent. Oh. Uh, but the dog's like, uh, I speak English. She's like, so are you some strange demon? He's like, I'm not a, I'm not a demon. I'm a fucking, I'm a dachshund. And he goes, oh, shit. I didn't mean to offend you. I'm, I've done that already. Uh, sorry. He's like, pay no mind, sir. I see, can clearly see it from out of town. Please join us for the refreshment. And then he goes, okay. <laughs> they take him over, Chad. They order some drinks. And they're waiting for them. And Jack, I love it. They just cut. They, this, the, the series, um, they use silence to great effect, Chad. Uh, through everything. From the, the combat sequences to the landscapes, but also for humor. And you see Jack just sitting in this booth. Surrounded by three talking dogs, and he's just saying nothing. He's like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. And eventually, the waitress comes by, and uh, she brings out these drinks. She puts them down. Jack's like staring at this one. It looks like a goddamn lava lamp. He's like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what this is. I don't know the drink. Man. The dogs just lapping up like actual dogs. He's like, uh. <laughs> and the dogs and like, oh, I apologize, sir. So, uh, we t we didn't in introduce ourselves. He's like, I am Rufus the Third, and you get, yeah, one's like a bulldog or a bull mastiff. He's done, he does that. The Scottish Terrier, who's actually Scottish, he does this. And they explain that we are archaeologists working in the in the deserts of Aku. Um, we just wanted to uh, ask you, what is your name? And Jack's like, ah, uh, I don't really have. I mean, people call me the people. They call me. I'm called Jack here. The Jack. How simplified. I love it. Uh, Jack. We want to uh, uh, run a deal by you. See, our people have been oppressed by a coup for centuries, and we have actually finally got off, uh, off uh, out from under his yoke, and we could use your help. Meanwhile, chat, this three-eyed waitress is listening to this conversation. She's like, who the fuck is this? What the fuck is this guy? Jack, what? I'm going like, hmm. to record this and, uh, with my, my videotape. And she's recording this shit, chat. And uh, the dog's like, can you help us? And Jack's like, uh, well, to learn more about a coup and to help people, I, yeah, I'm obliged to help you, absolutely. And they go, fantastic, you can join us in our rocket car. He's like, rocket car? What the hell is that? He's like, well, we'll show you. I guess your modes of trepidation are a bit different uh, than ours. And so they step out, and, uh, they go out to the, the rocket car chat. And meanwhile, this, this, the, the waitress... Uh, she's like, all right, I'm gonna go talk to my boss, man. And she, she travels across the city. She puts a cloak under her head. Very Papa Palpatine-esque, if I do say so myself. Emphasis on kind of. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Jack, Jack's having a bad ice trip right now. Oh, absolutely. No question. She goes up there, Chimmy, and we cut to the domain of a coup where we see these little hairy kind of like penises in, in spacesuits, Chad. Like little hairy penises. And they have been brought to Aku's massive monolithic tower. And you see the leader of them. He's saying, the great, great Aku, we wish to speak with you. Our planet was decimated. And we've come to ask for, for uh, uh, to live in the oceans of, of your planet. And Aku goes, ah, I am Aku. What do you desire from me? And he goes, ah, our oceans were destroyed on our planet by an unknown force. We are asking if uh, we can if we can live here, uh, oh great one. And Aku goes, I will allow it since I was the one who destroyed your oceans and gathered the resources for myself. And the one they have one of the, the, the younger uh, hairy penises in the in the space who goes, you this is the one that destroyed our homes and families. We should not serve him. And the guy's like, shut the fuck up, shut up. <laughs> And the, and the old one's like, please do not heed what the young one says. He is brash. He is arrogant. He knows not what he says. And Aku, what they do is sound change, but Aku's just like sitting there. He's just, he's just silent. He's just like, 
Not looking at anyone, he's looking off screen. And all of a sudden, these fucking lightning bolts come out of his eyes and hit the one guy, and he fucking disintegrates. And he goes, oh, I don't, and a little hairy piece is like, oh. <laughs> yes, quite arrogant. But he shall not be arrogant in the pits of despair. <laughs> he's like, I guess not. And as I said before, you will be allowed to be on the ocean floor. But every week, you shall build a statue of me that shall raise, rise out of the sea so all should know. Aku! And they're like, all right. And they go, they leave, chat. Eventually, Aku's agent arrives. And he goes, what do you have for me? She's like, I have something for your eyes, oh, great one. Hmm. Something I have not seen. Unexpected. Unbelievable. But show me. And she so, uh, he, uh, 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 shows him, chat. Thank you, Lord but he's talking that shit, God, I'm disagreeing. Yep, that's what happens. Don't talk shit to Aku, chat. And she shows him, uh, the, uh, uh, the footage. And he's like, talk, okay, dogs, whatever. Dachshund, yeah, Scottish Terry. It's actually Scottish. Ha, <laughs> ha, it's funny. Full massive drools. But then he says, like, what? He sees Jack. He sees the Sarah. He's like, oh, samurai, you have finally arrived. Ha, ha, ha. I shall defeat you now in the future. He's like, go, send my robots, my armies, to decimate them all. And he sends out the robots and shit. We only cut back to Jack and the dogs, and Jack is freaking the fuck out, man. He does not like rocket travel. He's like, ah, he's shaking and shit. Eventually they do get there. He, he steps out of the vehicle. He's just like, he can't, I, can, can, I, can I just sit down, please? <laughs> this is a little stressful. He gets out of there, chap. And the dachshund says, Oh, behold, old chap, what all uh, good old dogs are currently doing right now. And they're, they're, oh, he sees them all. They're, they're all. They look all impoverished, chap. They are, they're starving to death. Oh, puppies! There are puppies and they're starving, chat, and they were abused by a coup. It's terrible. And Jack's like, it's fucked up. No, no, no. Dogs should not live like dogs. And they'll look at him and like, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? And Jack's like, oh, sorry. I mean, back in my time, you know, dogs actually, you know, they didn't speak words. They just barked. They were great companions, though. And the dog's like, fuck, he's, oh, my God, that, that's proof right there. That's proof right there that the ancient texts were correct, that we did, we did uh, come from, we did evolve from these lowly mammals, the dogs. And he's like, yeah. And also they do, uh, in the bar chat, they also scan him. And apparently they say, you are thousands of years old. You apparently um, were, you're original. You, you came from the year 25 uh, uh, BA, which stands for about before Aku. So it's many thousand years in the future, chat. And one of these little dogs runs up. He's like, sir, sir, Sir Rufus the Third, whatever the fuck your name is. The, the, Aku's forces are on the horizon. They'll be here by sundown. And they're like, ah, oh, shit. They run up there, chat, they run up uh, on this dilapidated building, chat, that's been bombed out by nuclear hellfire, Aku fire. And Jack looks in the distance, and you just see this billows of smoke coming up. It like, almost looks like a goddamn desert storm building, chat. But Jack sees them. These giant spider, like, beetle bots, chat, they're coming towards the dogs. And Aku is like, I'm gonna kill those motherfuckers. And hell yeah, he will, chat, but that'll happen on the next episode of Samurai Jack. Episode 3, which will be on Monday, by the way. They may have Chris Wood burn the dog village down. No, I love dogs. I love dogs. No, absolutely not. It was a deer village. I burned that motherfucker down in an instant. I'd be on a coup site. It's like, a coup, fucking deer. Can I burn it down? He goes, yes, Chris Herman, you may do it. I would do it, chat. No question. But chat with that. Let's go ahead and transition over to the Ghost of Shishima gameplay. Hope you enjoyed the Samurai Jack review. It was very, very fun.